In this video, we're going to talk about Boolean operators and how to use them to conduct effective searches of websites and online databases. The Boolean operators are AND, OR, NOT, quotation marks, and truncation. They are named after George Boole, a 19th century mathematician who developed equations that describe the logical processes used by computers. When using AND, OR, and NOT in a search, they should always be capitalized. Using the five Boolean operators in your online searches can make life a little easier. By the end of this video, you will know the five Boolean operators, know how Boolean operators work in combination with a basic browser search engine and databases, and know how to use Boolean operators to help you set up efficient, targeted searches. Let's start with AND. Use AND to narrow your search to only those results that include mention of all keywords linked by AND in the search engine. All keywords included will appear in each result retrieved by the search engine. For example, you may run a search that looks like this, ethics and humans and cloning. The search engine now knows to retrieve only results that have all three of the keywords provided, ethics, humans, and cloning. What if one of the keywords could be referred to differently using a synonym? This is where using OR may be helpful. OR allows you to broaden your search as it lets the search engine know that you will accept any of the keywords connected by OR. Adding OR to our previous search might look something like this. Ethics and humans and cloning or genetics or reproduction. This search lets the search engine know that we want all of our results to contain the keywords ethics and humans and at least one of the keyword options, cloning, genetics, or reproduction. The next Boolean operator is NOT. NOT is useful when the main topic being searched is broad and you want to eliminate certain aspects of the topic from appearing in your search. Take our working example. Let's say that you want to look at human cloning, but there are other species to which cloning can apply. Dolly the sheep is a famous example of this. If you want to prevent sheep from appearing in the search results, the structure of the search might look like this. Ethics and humans and cloning or genetics or reproduction not cheap. This lets the search engine know to ignore anything that includes sheep as a keyword when retrieving results. Use quotation marks when you want to link terms together or when searching for phrasal terms, which are two or more words combined that create a new word or concept. This lets the search engine know that you want to retrieve results containing exactly what you've placed in quotation marks. For example, you might be doing research on economic development, in this case, you would want to place economic development in quotation marks to let the search engine know you want all results to contain economic development as it is shown. If you were to run this search without quotation marks, the search engine may retrieve results that contain each word, economic and development, but not necessarily both together. Finally, consider using truncation. Truncation captures variations of a keyword. Say you want to conduct a search that will return results containing development, developer, and developing. Instead of typing out each individual word and connecting them using OR, you can instead simply use develop followed by an asterisk. The asterisk used is also known as a wildcard. It lets the search engine know that you want results that contain a root word, in this case develop, and all ending variations. Many databases available through the library's resources will include drop-down menus for Boolean operators between search term fields, but Boolean operators can also be used in a browser search engine, such as Google, even if you have only a single search bar. When setting up a search with a single search bar, be sure to capitalize AND, OR, or NOT if using them, as mentioned previously. If you use the Boolean operator OR in this circumstance, it is important to enclose in parentheses the string of keywords you are connecting with OR. This lets the search engine know to treat them as a unit. For example, ethics and humans and cloning or genetics or reproduction. Let's review what we have covered. AND is used to connect required keywords and narrow a search. It's a way of indicating to the search engine that any results must contain all of the required keywords provided. OR is used to broaden a search and is particularly useful when you want to make sure synonyms are captured in your search. NOT is used to eliminate potential results that fall beyond the scope of the desired topic. Using NOT in a search bar indicates to the search engine that results containing particular keywords should be ignored. 
Quotation marks are used when you want results containing the exact keywords you used. Truncation is used when you want the search engine to capture a root word along with all of its possible endings. And finally, Boolean operators can be used in most search engines. Just be sure to capitalize AND, OR, and NOT, and enclose in parentheses any keywords you are linking with OR. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to MSVU Library staff for assistance. Visit us in person in the main area of EMF, or find us online by clicking the library link at the top of any MSVU webpage. Thanks for watching.